Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your daily update on Bitcoin. The timer has started, we are looking at today, the 20th of November at nearly 20 past 8 in the morning in the UK with a monthly view of Bitcoin. Before I begin, this is only paper trading advice, never put your real money where I'm saying money may go. If you want to start learning how to put your real money where money may go, because you must do your own due diligence, on the top right corner there is a video in which I show you how to start doing paper trading with TradingView. TradingView, you can have it for free, there is a link both in the description and in the pinned comments on how to get TradingView for free. You can just click the link and register for free. You will have a limited number of indicators and I will show you how to use them all in 20 minutes. You will be able to start trading with TradingView, the free version, including the candle scanner that I am giving to you for free as well. If you join the Promising Traders Tribe and to join the Promising Traders Tribe, you need to go on promisingtrader.com slash join the tribe. I will then send you an email with the instructions, how to install it, how to use it, and you will see how to configure it. In this video but before I waste all the minutes that I have available let's begin monthly view is still on a bear engulfing candle we don't know whether it's going to keep dropping or not the thing that we see here is that RSI is definitely below 60 definitely uh, below overbought but it's above 50 will it recover or not if we check on MACD it looks like it's doing a crossover here will it bounce we don't know uh, but if we count the waves, we cannot see much, to be honest, if we count the waves on a monthly view. So let's move in the weekly view and let's see how the week looks. Well, for three weeks, Bitcoin has been dropping. However, if we check here, we have a bull engulfing candle at 7200 ish dollar, 7300. Let me reveal all the disaster that there is in the chart which I probably hide again, <laughs> it's horrible, oh by the way please if you enjoy these videos show me some support, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it, if you don't like the video let me know why, if you want to leave me a dislike without comment I won't be able to improve it so it will be pretty much useless unless you really enjoy <laughs> disliking the video because you want to dislike the video, in that case it, your dislike will be completely disregarded, anyway the weekly view we can see exactly Bitcoin is dropping RSI though is holding above 40 which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go up but it doesn't even mean it's going to go down so between 40 and 60 really it's a neutral area below 50 so between 50 and 40 it's more bearish but that doesn't mean anything really we need to see what happens afterwards so we st so far we have the bull engulfing candle here that is holding we don't know whether it's going to be retested or just passed through. The interesting thing is that on a weekly, obviously in May, we had the crossover. Heading another crossover right now without a little bit of a fight on a 55 EMA, I think it's, uh, it would be weird. So I would expect Bitcoin maybe to start crossing, retesting, maybe going lower than this indeed, so the rally that I was anticipating up to here, up to 12,000 may never happen, I mean may not happen now, uh, but yeah, I, I would see it declining slowly rather than just dropping, I mean in here it's been declining with a huge drop after this, but it was very high, in here I don't think this is going to be exactly the same that happened in 2008. 18, 17, 18, but let's see, so far it's not looking very bullish, really, we know it, and people are losing hope, people who bought here are now taking losses and they will sell probably because they don't want to lose more, so yeah, let's check the daily, and in the daily I can show you the mess again, Doom. so yesterday I said this one was possibly going to be a support, but I wasn't particularly sure, in the daily indeed we can see that Bitcoin entered on RSI a bearish zone so that means we should expect Bitcoin to drop more and also RSI doesn't show any reversal sign at all so yes I would confirm that Bitcoin is going to drop more so I really doubt that this green line here at 8000 will provide any support at all now it is slowing down yes it's true and it's been bought twice but 
I think it's going to keep dropping possibly up to 76, 75 hundred dollars or more. We will need to see. Let's check the six hours. And by the way, you know, I give you just one version. I don't tell you what um, what happens if it goes up or what happens if it goes down. I'm very bold on this. So I really risk. And if you follow me, you really risk to lose because sometimes I will be wrong. And here we can see in the six hours is really slowing down. And while the price is relatively holding here, RSI is not. So a little bit of a reversal is expected. Though, though I think it will stay within the downtrend channel, the white line, because apparently it entered again. Or even less, the red line here at 8300-ish, this number here. So, if any rally, because that doesn't mean it's going to rally, if any rally happens, we should expect it just very low, not touching any new high, really. Uh, let me go in the three hours. And in the three hours, it really looks like, yes, RSI is showing some reversal. So, yes, I would confirm it's maybe going to rally. So, if you want to play intraday, possibly you can make a little long position but then don't expect it to really go much higher than that so for instance if you enter right now long let's say this and you set your stop loss let's say here and then you set your profit let's say here you will have a one two how much 12.89 which is not particularly interesting so yeah I would not do that you may do a shorter time frame as well and maybe play really the stop loss much higher but yeah it would be a little risky but obviously trading is always a little risky and however I wouldn't expect anything higher than 83 83, 84, but 84 is really probably not gonna happen. Thousand, 8300. Sorry. Um, if we go in the daily, for instance, we can already see a declining. So it may the, it may not even do the rally. You know, it is still slowing down in here. So possibly a retest of this, and then the rally. So you may have better chances, even because you can see here after this little rally, we have reversal signals again. So yeah, maybe you don't want to enter right now. You may want to wait to see if the retest is confirming here. And then at this bottom, you buy and hope for an 8300 because maybe you will stop at 8100. So I'm um, sorry. These are my alerts on Forex. Uh, this is the advantage of having your... Uh, paid account, paid membership on TradingView, along with much more uh, stuff that you can add in the charts, like all these indicators. But except for that, you will still be able to learn without paying TradingView, as I'm showing you in the video that I mentioned at the beginning. So yeah, I think I'm done. Uh, so expect another little um, retracement, a retest possibly of this area. So you may have a better area where to enter your long position if you think it's going to go up, like I said. But again, don't expect any anything higher than this. It will stop and it will keep dropping eventually. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. Uh, like, share and subscribe again. As I said before, I will see you tomorrow with another update and have a great day. Bye-bye.